Welcome to Out of the Blue, number 55. The Holy Grail, full of spice. The spice, the Holy Grail. Out of the Blue, number 55. So, I made a statement a few days ago that I wanted to uh, show to be true. I said that the Earth is flat. You might say the Earth is round. If the Earth was round, then this would roll. The Earth is flat. The Earth is round if you are in orbit around the Earth. So to a satellite, the Earth is round. To a bicyclist who's on the Earth, the Earth is flat. Because you have to pedal your bike to get anywhere. So this brings up a very interesting fact of life, which is that there are more than one reality. There's the real reality, and then there's reality as we perceive it. As we perceive it, the Earth is flat. But in actual fact, it is round. The Earth is round. We only perceive it flat. It only seems flat to us from our perspective. So this is what I've been calling a perspective illusion. So the earth is round, it seems flat to us because of our perspective, which is to say because we are so small in in relationship to the earth. We're so small that this big sphere looks flat to us. This is a perspective illusion. So it, and it raises the question of what else? What other perspective illusions do we perceive? So there's the sun rising and the earth being flat are some big ones. There's the... Uh, the, the stars are all in orbit around Earth. You know, that's an illusion. It only seems that way. It only looks that way. And uh, to the Neo-Swedenborgianist, you can use the Neo-Swedenborgian defense to say that uh, an afterlife, and um, when I'm talking about an afterlife, I'm talking more like in the Summerland variety. Maybe I'll look that up in a minute. But uh, an afterlife doesn't have to be really real. It doesn't have to exist outside of the human condition. Because if it's real within our perception, that is really all that matters to us. If it's not real outside our perception, or it's not really real, it's real but not really real, um, that becomes an academic question, it, which is to say it doesn't really pertain to our daily life. You know, if you're going to really experience it, as far as you can um, experience anything, well, that's pertinent, right? That's extremely pertinent. Ice. I'm riding the giant quasar. Winter in Chicago. Um, I want to point out that, though I mentioned dogs, beep. I mentioned uh, perspective illusions in the afterlife, but neo Swedenborgianism is not actually focused on death or the afterlife. It's focused on living this life. Really focused on how I live. Because 
because um, when I say the earth is flat, right, and not round, the earth is round to us, meaning we have put men on the moon, and we have satellites in space, but I am not a we, and you are not a we either. You are one person, and I am one person, and I do not live on a satellite. You know who lives on a satellite? Waldo lives on a satellite. You see all those paintings up in my place? Uh, those are painted by Waldo, who lives on a satellite. So the Earth is round to Waldo. But to me, riding my bike here, it sure looks flat. It sure seems flat. It sure is flat in my experience. And, uh... Episode 53, I read about Papa Toe. Papa Toe is a great inspiration to me personally, and I'll talk more about Papa Toe um, as he pertains to my violin practice. Papa Toe is a fictional character. We all know this, the Brothers K is a novel of fiction. So I have been greatly inspired by Papa Toe, a fictional character. See what I'm getting at? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Academic, definition number three. Theoretical or hypothetical, not practical, realistic, or directly useful, as in an academic question or an academic discussion. I want to contrast that with pertinent, pertinent, pertaining or relating directly and significantly to the matter at hand, relevant, pertinent details.